Justice is to love everyone as brothers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. This is Father Angel from the Mission of San Andrew in Tijuana, Diocese of Mexico of the Orthodox Church in America. Welcome to the Gospel for June the 10th, 2020, according to St. Matthew. For I tell you, unless your righteousness exceeds that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to those of ancient times, You shall not murder, but whoever murders shall be liable to judgment. But I say to you, that if you are angry with a brother or sister, you will be liable to judgment. And if you insult a brother or sister, you will be liable to the council. And if you say, you fool, you will be liable to the hell of fire. So when you are offering your gift to the altar, if you remember that your brother or sister has something against you, Leave your gift there before the altar and go. First be reconciled to your brother and sister, and then come and offer your gift. Come to terms quickly with your, with your accuser, while you are on the way to court with him. Or your accuser may hand you over to the judge, and the judge to the guard, and you will be thrown into prison. Truly, I tell you, you will never get out until you have paid the last penny. Glory be to thee, O God, glory be to thee. Have you ever heard of one of those emblessers, the fraud, the, the fraud people? I don't want to remember the names of them. But have you ever heard someone that uh, defrauded the IRS or, or the banks for a hundred million and was thrown into jail? Have you ever heard about them working inside jail so that they went out after a while, yeah, such and such went into jail because he defrauded the IRS for a hundred million, but he worked hard inside the jail, now he paid the last penny because he's out. Never, that has never happened. The United States in some other places, you can work within jail in order for you to buy something, to, to, to save some money if you want. They will pay you a little bit less than the minimum wage. And that is out of mercy. And back in the times of the Lord, when you were thrown into jail, it was literally the dungeon where you cannot work anything. So it is an absolute lie that they would like to take this gospel and say, you see, there, there is the, the basis for the purgatory. There is no purgatory. That is just the purgatory was an invention by the Pope in order for them to extort money from the rich people in Europe because he wanted to build up uh, St. Peter. But that is not what is important today. What's important today is that justice is to love everyone as your brothers. Now, have you realized how often and how easy it is for us to despise our brothers? Because even if, even if when we're driving and somebody wants to, to let's say, illegally cross from your, um, from your left hand all the way to the right, and you don't want to leave the, to, to let them go. You want to, you just don't want to. Hey, take take your place. Go back. Go, go behind me. You're despising them. I mean, I'm not saying that you should just stop in the middle of all the traffic and create a collision with you because you want to leave the other guy. But what I'm saying is that we should be more lenient. That we should be merciful. And we don't have that. And it is because we do not love truly the others. Again, I have to say, many people have told me, why do you even bother with the, with the Roman Catholics? Why do you even treat with them, deal with them? Because I know that God loves them. And it is part of my, my effort to see if I can at least win one or two, then that will be great. If I could ever win one person to be saved, that will be my own ticket into, into heaven. Just one person that God will say, well, thanks, my dear priest, because of your efforts, you were able to, you helped me win this person for heaven. Today, the Lord is reminding us that we should love everyone, 
in deed and in heart. It is so sad to hear these people all over the place. I remember, I remember years ago when there was a friend of mine who happened to be, who happened to be associates in this credit union where he would normally try to host this breakfast where we would have incredible dishes and a little bit of money, a little bit of the money would go into buying beans and rice and so that sort of stuff for the poor people. But he would call his luncheons for the poor people, the helping the poor people. No, it was not helping the poor people. It was for us, for everyone who attended, just a way of buying our own consciousness with the little pennies that we had and enjoying the, uh, the time, the banquet and the feasting among us. There was not even one of those poor people in sight. I didn't even want to see them back then, myself. Now I work among them. How are you? Even today, as we are in the middle of this pandemic, are you able to grab a little bit of your money, a little bit of your food, and go out and hand it out to one of your homeless? Because there are a lot of homeless. It's incredible to see how, at least in the United States, where I am, I'm able to... I don't live in the United States. I cross. I used to cross. I'm not crossing. I haven't been, I haven't been crossing for a while. It will take a while again for me to cross into the States. But I was saying, over there, there is this incredible amount of homeless people. And they are so beautiful. I will share with you one story. A few years ago, I was with my wife in one park in Southern California. And I was amazed. It had been a while since I hadn't been there. And it used to be, and it still is a very nice uh, park, public park. But it used to be that there was nobody else there. It was, and when I, st when I again visited it some years ago, there were like eight or ten homeless tents in there. And I was like shocked. And then I was even scared to be there with my wife. And then I saw some people at, at a distance. There was uh, a black man and his wife probably. And then two younger white people there with them. They were they were preparing themselves to cook some sort of meal. And it pained me and I got a few dollars and uh, I walk over there and I, I, I ask them, do you mind if I, uh, if I buy you something for, for lunch? And they said, oh, of course not, brother. And as they were uh, preparing their sausages, the black man that was there, uh, he said, Please pray with us. And I blessed their food and themselves. And I handed out the money. And then he begged me, please stay with us and share with us a bite. And the very first sausage that came out of it, he gave it to me. And I wasn't going to turn it down. I, I, I asked him, please just cut a little, a little piece so that I can share it with you. And I cut a little piece and I ate it with them. But those people share the little thing that they had with this stranger that was trying to help them. That is the love that we need. For blessed is our God always, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen.